Hi guys, this is E with Scrapbooking with Me, and we're going to make this little um, card cover or card holder, card carrier, whatever you want to call it, today. And let me take the belly band off and I'll show you. And my belly band's a little bit tight on this one because of the glitter, but it works. Okay, it opens up like this. And you can see it's just two mirrored images. And you can put cards on one side and envelopes on another. I just stuck a few cards in there just for demonstration purposes and to get it to fill up just a little bit so that it wouldn't look so flat. But then you just fold it back up and put your belly band back on. And like I said, mine does fit a little tight just because of the glitter paper. But it works. It keeps it together. And then I just put a little wooden heart right there on the front of my belly band. But these are quick and easy to make and they're wonderful gifts. So I'm going to show you how they are done. You're going to need two pieces. And I've got something on my paper. You're going to need two pieces of paper that are just alike that measure uh, six and three quarters by 12, okay? The first sheet, you're gonna score, let's turn it over. The first sheet, you're gonna score at one inch. So one inch, five and three quarters. Six and three quarters and eleven and a half. Okay, that is one inch, five and three quarters. Let's make sure that on here, let's do it, check it, because you know me and my measurements. One inch, five and three quarters six and three quarters right there and then eleven and a half which is right there do my one inch again okay so that is your first piece then on your second piece you're going to score it a little bit different so you're going to score at one half inch and really, they're going to be scored the same. It's just that you're making a mirror image. So one half inch, five and a quarter. This is thick paper, so I'm going to go over it a couple of times. Six and a quarter. Whoops. I think I went a little bit too strong that time. And then 11. Now what you're going to do is rotate your paper clockwise, one turn, and you're going to score it at one inch. All the way down. Okay. And then you're going to do the other one the same way. Now go to the back side of your paper where you can see your score lines really well. And you're going to cut just a small V at your score lines just so that everything folds up really, really well. And you don't have any bulk when you start folding these edges. Okay. So just make sure that it goes right up to your score mark. And do all of them that way.
So this is what it should look like when you get through cutting your little slits in the bottom. Okay. So now you're going to take your ruler and you're going to mark down from the top. And this is your top opposite where you cut out the little slots. This is your top. You're going to mark down to four inches on both sides. And do this on both of them. I go ahead and reinforce the score line right here just so that I can see it and then I reinforce my one inch so I can see it because we're going to cut down we're going to put our ruler right there on that score line and we're going to cut down four to the four inch mark where we made that little mark right there Okay. Then we're going to turn it and we're going to cut straight across to cut that little piece out. So all we're doing is cutting that piece out. And we're going to do, over here what we're going to do is we're going to go to the score line right here that makes the spine. It would be your first score line right there. Well, it really would be your second. This is your first score line. It will be your second score line. This is going to be your spine part right here. So you're going to put your ruler right there at that spine. And then on your four, all right, your four inch should be marked on your score line. So put your ruler on that spine score line and then right there on that first score line. So I've got my ruler right here on this score line and then on that first score line at the four inch mark. I'm just going to draw me a little line right there because that's what we're going to cut out and then I'm going to draw a little line across this. Okay, that maybe that'll make it a little clearer. See the, the score line right here? That's where we're going to start cutting. And we're going to cut down to the one half inch score line and then we're going to cut straight across, straight out just like that. So I'm just going to do it with my scissors. You could do it with a an exacto knife. Um, your trimmer doesn't matter. Since I have the line drawn there, I'm just going to do it with my scissors. So see, you're cutting that part out and you've got your little 90 degree angle there. So that is that one. You're going to do the same thing on the other one. Okay, we're going to come down that four inch mark right on that score line. This is my one inch score line right here. This is my one inch. At the one inch you're going to come down to the four inches where we made the mark and then you're going to cut straight out just like that again this is your one inch score line right here that's where you're going to do that at then this is your half inch score line so again, you're going to see my score line right here. See the score line right there? That's going to be where my spine starts. So I'm going to put my ruler right there at that score line. And then right there at that. I'm going to mark this so you can see it better. This is my one half inch score line right there. So I'm going to draw a line right there and then come straight out like that just like that okay and again I'm just going to cut it with these you can cut it with whatever you have whatever you prefer my exacto blade needs changing 
so I'm not going to fool with it right now. Okay, that is what you should have now. Should be just complete mirror images of each other, just like that. I will have all of these measurements on my blog, and this is not my original idea either. I get a lot of my um, ideas off of Pinterest, as a lot of us do. This one, I do have the link to the origin, the person who I got this idea from, and I will leave it in the links below. So go check her out, please. All right, now all we're going to do is we're going to make our folds on our score lines. So fold everything. Make sure your foot, your score lines are good and accurate. Okay. So see how your box is coming together, your little box to put your cards in? It's coming together. And we'll pre-fold the other one. And I don't reinforce all of these unless there's one that's just a little bit stubborn looking like that one. But you can reinforce them uh, if you want. My paper seems to have scored pretty well. A little too well on a couple of them since I like to went through the paper. That's my heavy hand. Okay, so we have that. We have both of those now. So now what we're going to do is if I can find my tape runner wherever I put it. I oh, know you see it down there we go. And we're going to put some tape. We want this bigger flap to be on the outside so that it will cover that one up and it'll look really seamless like that. So we're going to put our adhesive on there. Then of course we want our flaps all folded in. So we're going to put our adhesive on this flap. Now you can use uh, liquid glue if you want. On this, I, I just use this, and then I put a little liquid glue in there if I feel like I need more adhesion, but this seems to work really well. So you're going to put your little end flaps on the inside, fold this one over, make sure that your box is good and square. Gotta re redo that one right there because it looks a little bit off. Okay, now make sure your box is good and square. And then fold that one down. You see what I mean about putting a little glue under that? I, this, this paper has just a little bit of glitter and shine to it, so that um, tape is not going to hold it as well as my glue will. So you feel free to use whatever glue you feel most comfortable with and whatever glue works for your paper. If you have a paper that has a lot of glitter in it, then it's going to take a good heavy tack glue to glue that down. But there we go. There's our first side. Then we're going to do this one, and I think I'm just going to start off with this one with the glue. This does give you a little bit extra time to make sure that everything is stuck correctly. So Pull all of your sides and all your parts together really well. Make sure that your little flaps are on the inside. And then you're going to make sure that your box is kind of squared up so that you don't get it off kilter. And then just press it down. I usually sit mine up and just look at it and make sure that I've got all of my little score lines correctly. So that is that. All right. Now we're going to do our outside cover. And I chose this for my outside cover. This is all from the same paper line. I chose this for my outside cover because I'm going to be putting birthday cards in here that I make and sending them to a friend of mine. So your out outside cover piece needs to be 5 and 7 eighths by 12. Okay, so we're going to lay these aside for a moment. 
And then we're going to take our scoreboard and we're going to score at four and seven eighths. So we're going to score right there, four and seven eighths. And then we're going to score at seven and one eighth. And then if you fold these, there you have your outside cover. Now, if you want to mat this, um, she shows matting hers. I'm not going to mat this because I love this paper so well. But if you wanted to mat these, I will have the measurements on my blog for the mat sizes that you need to cut. But, you know, of course, you would cut your mat whatever size that you want. But, um... For a single mat, it'd be five and five eighths by four and five eighths. For a double mat, you, you're looking at five and three eighths by four and three eighths. So, you know, it just depends on whether you want to mat it or not. I'll have all the measurements on my blog, so just go over there and check it out. So now we're going to put these on the inside, just like this. And I'm just going to put a good heavy bit of glue on the back of here because I don't want these to come out when I load my cards in there. So we're going to load it up. And you want to line this up right at the bottom. And then on the side. Just like that. And then just press it in place. Then you're going to do this one the same way. Okay, press that in place. So there you have a card carrier. Isn't that cute? I love them. And if you need to run more glue somewhere, you know, just put your glue in there. You could also use a tiny bit of hot glue to just make them set for a minute while your other glue is drying. That's strictly up to you. I'm going to push this one down just a little. Okay. Now we're going to make the belly band. For the belly band, you want two pieces, one inch by ten inch. Okay, so these are one by twelve, I believe. I'm going to cut a little bit off of them. Yeah, these are one by twelve. I'm just going to snip a little bit off right there. So one inch by ten inch. And you're going to start at one side. And now you here again, on this, you could measure this from one side to the other and make your score lines. I, I hate to measure, so I do it this way. But that is up to you. I just put it around there, put a little bit of pressure on the corner to get me a little line there. Then when I take it off, I just reinforce my line with my scoring tool. Just like that. And then I do the other one. I start on this side. I just do them opposite so that my back, the back part will meet. Put the line there. Put the line there. And then take them off and reinforce those little marks that you made with your fingers. Then you want to take your, long, your two long pieces, you want to take those and you're going to put those together in the back 
those are going to be your backs. Just like that. And then you're going to take these front pieces. And what I do is I put it on here so that I make sure that I don't get it too tight or too loose. Take the front two pieces and they're going to going to make us a little mark right there. And that's going to tell me that that's where I need to stop when I lap them over. So we're going to slide our belly band on and hopefully that we don't have it too tight. I think this is going to work. You can go ahead and put your cards in here if you want. We're, I'm just trying to save a little time and do it this way. Now if you see that when you have it on, if you see that you need to tighten it up or whatever, you can. But once your cards get in here, you know, it's going to fill it out a little bit more so don't get it too tight. And then what I'm going to do is I'm just going to get a little heart. And I'm going to put that little heart. I really need a star, but I don't have a star right here, I don't think. So I think I'm just going to put that heart right there. If you had a balloon, it, that would be really cute. You could cut something out and put on the front. Decorate it ever, you know, how you want. And that will be really, really cute. So we're going to and there you go that is it if you wanted to put you know more little parts across there and make a whole little line of them that would be cute it would be cute to do something like that But like I said, decorate it the way that you want. It's your, you know, it'll be yours or you'll be giving it to someone. So decorate it the way that they would like to see it. But those are our card carriers. And I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. If you do, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe. And like I said, I will leave the link below to the person who inspired me to make these. And I will talk to you guys later. Bye-bye.